Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes coming out of the transfer portal as former Arizona State defensive lineman B.J. Green commits to Colorado. And to give you a sense of what I think of B.J. Green, back in the early months of December, as I was kind of getting ready for the NFL draft season, I had B.J. Green as a top 15 edge rusher had he wanted to declare to the NFL draft. He hits the transfer portal, wants to come back for one more year, improve upon that draft stock, was sought after by a ton of Power 5 programs, was previously committed to the Washington Huskies. Ole Miss came in late in Colorado, really late in the process, able to land the commitment of what I would just say is a difference maker up front. B.J. Green is a guy that can play the five tech, can play the three tech, can play as a stand-up outside linebacker. He is so versatile up front, but the at, at the end of the day, I mean, he's a game wrecker. And Coach Prime saw this firsthand when Colorado played Arizona State. B.J. Green sacked Shadir Sanders two times in that game. A massive get for Colorado and kind of goes into the conversation that we've had the last couple of weeks with Colorado is the quality of players that they're bringing in this cycle in the transfer portal, it's just different. These are a lot of guys that B.J. Green was an all-Pac-12 performer last year, was sought after by pretty much every Power 5 school across the country in the transfer portal, and he's coming to Colorado. Coach Prime doing a phenomenal job in the portal, specifically in the areas that Colorado wanted to take that step along the line of scrimmage, both the offensive line and the defensive line. B.J. Green, I think, really symbolizes how successful Coach Prime has been able to address the line of scrimmage heading into the Big 12 next year. Want to get into B.J. Green, talk a little bit about what you see on the film from him. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Colorado fans. I mean, this has been a program that's truly been a blast to talk about in the transfer portal the last couple of weeks. The amount of support you guys have shown the boys. Truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll keep you guys as updated as possible with Colorado, what they're doing in the transfer portal. Because when that thing opens up after spring ball, you know Coach Prime is going to continue to get this roster right. And without further ado, I want to get into BJ Green. And I think before we get into what I've seen on the film from him, as he was an NFL draft prospect for me just a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, is what he did in that 2023 season from a production standpoint. Had 11 and a half tackles for a loss, six sacks, 34 quarterback hurries. So that six sacks number is is very, it's a very solid number. But I think the 34 quarterback hurries and a 15% pass rush win rate, that kind of symbolizes what BJ Green brings to the table. He is a disruptive force on that defensive line. And you see 6'1", 270 pounds. He doesn't necessarily have the prototypical frame and length that a lot of other defensive linemen do. But when he's 6'1", he has the ability to play with really low pads, get kind of underneath offensive linemen, and just drive them back into the lap of the quarterback. That's what B.J. Green wants to do. He's got extremely powerful legs, very, very strong hands, and he just kind of uses that speed to power and just moves people off the line of scrimmage whether it's in the run game, whether it's in the pass rush. And that is something that Colorado really coveted. You look back at that Colorado team in 2023, the biggest problem they had, especially on the defensive side of the football, was teams were able to run the football. And how you wanted to beat Colorado in 2023 was keep Shadur Sanders in that offense off the field and establish the run. And a lot of teams were able to do so. They averaged 4.7 yards per carry. That was 95th in the country. B.J. Green not only is an exceptional pass rusher, but I think what he really brings to Colorado is another guy on that defensive line that is going to be a force against the run. And when you can stop teams on first and second down running the football and then have a guy like BJ Green who can pin his ears back and be as disruptive in the pass rush as he is, that's the recipe, right? Win on first and second down, force teams into third and longs, those obvious passing situations and go, BJ Green, we're going to either put you on the inside, we're going to put you on the edge, pin your ears back, go get after the quarterback. That's what B.J. Green brings to the table. Played 700 snaps for Arizona State in 2023. That just kind of tells you how meaningful he was to that program. Right? He did not come off the field for Arizona State. Arizona State was not a very good football team in 2023. One of their bright spots was B.J. Green on that defensive line. And you take a look at what Colorado has done in the portal. I mean, bringing in a ton of players, but specifically – I don't want to focus on what they've done on that defensive line. 
right? A guy like Samuel Okunlola, another guy who is a hammer in the run game, one of the more coveted young defensive linemen in the portal. You go and get a veteran in Shadozi Nwanku, who, again, very, very good against a run. You continue to scroll down. You have some proven talent. And then you have some guys like Quincy Wiggins, who was a top 60 player coming out of high school, a guy that has all the traits in the world to be an elite defensive lineman. And if he can put it together for Colorado, you have another difference maker along the line of scrimmage and you continue to scroll down. And yes, they've added some flashy players with Will Shepard, a guy that was dominant in the SEC the last couple of years. But why I think this Colorado team might take a massive step in 2024 is what they've done along the line of scrimmage. I mean, bringing in some very coveted guys along the offensive line and the defensive line. Again, the, the whole talking point with Colorado last year was the, the lack of ability to win the line of scrimmage. They have the talent on the outsides, right? Shadur Sanders at quarterback, Dylan Edwards as a true freshman running back was phenomenal. You get Alton McCaskill back. You have a guy like Travis Hunter. The skill positions, the playmaking positions, those guys, you had those guys in 2023. And that's why you were able to see Colorado have the success they did. What they didn't have and what they lacked was along the line of scrimmage. And I think Colorado Coach Prime certainly saw that. And what has he done in the transfer portal is gone out and gotten on both sides of the line of scrimmage, difference makers up front. And if Colorado takes a massive step in 2024, it's going to be because their line of scrimmage play, both on the offense and defensive line, take a massive step forward. In 2024, another huge get for B.J. Green. Again, a guy that was coveted, could could be playing on Sundays in the NFL next year, decides to come back, gets back with Coach Prime, who I believe coached him as a young kid in Georgia. Massive get. Very, very fired up about this one. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, we'll continue to update you guys as Coach Prime, this Colorado program, continue to do work in the transfer portal. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later.